What's going on, y'all? DKB here. So just got the news a little bit ago. The Jets released guard Greg Van Roten. Um, it's a little bit of a shocker for me because it comes right after the signing of uh, Nate Herbig from us. And uh, I've read two interesting perspectives. I did my video kind of breaking down um, Nate uh, Nate Herbig's you know route to the NFL um, from poor scouting combine to the you know injury prone college career. Um, but then he did make his way, as I mentioned, into the starting ranks due to injury. But uh, he did have solid performances at least, uh, which is why he was able to continue starting. But still, he doesn't fit the mode of that, you know, athletic, agile type uh, offensive lineman that uh, Joe Douglas normally covets. But this move of releasing Greg Van Roden pretty much directly speaks to how highly he thinks of Herbig. And uh, of of course, kind of the backup depth. I mean, Dan Feeney can really play either side if necessary, but I kind of figured it'd be a training camp battle necessarily and uh, not so just a, an outright release. Um, so it's interesting from that standpoint. But with that said, we do get younger. We do get cheaper, um, potentially more talent. I, I can't see them, you know, releasing them if they didn't think it was a clear upgrade. Uh, and then we do get 3.5 million in cap space back for whatever other uh, you know, waiver wire pickups we're going to get down the line. So I guess the real question will be, and we didn't get the financial details, is how much money are we saving from uh, Greg Van Roten compared to uh, Herbig? But, uh, you know, I'm all for it. At this point, I, I don't question any moves that Joe Douglas makes. Um, the man has been uh, making a living off picking up waiver wire agents um, and, and getting them to perform and, and I won't say excel, but getting them to perform and uh, see the field to get some kind of development from uh, our new coaching staff. So uh, either way, let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Uh, I will take it with uh, I'll take it as it is. I'm hoping Nate Herbig goes out there and, and you know, kills it. I, obviously, he won't be starting. Uh, with our potential Pro Bowl duel of Tomlinson and uh, Greg Van Roten. But still, uh, it, it's nice to have very solid depth and not have to worry about if injuries hit us, um, you know, kind of what the backup plan there is. So either way, again, let me know your thoughts. Catch you guys again. Peace.